This video is for patients, families and carers to help them manage ear cleaning for individuals with ear infections or earwax. The cleaning of ears with hydrogen peroxide should only be undertaken as instructed by a health professional such as a MEG ENT surgeon. Hydrogen peroxide works by mechanically assisting to soften and remove debris when it's instilled into the ear. Hydrogen peroxide ear drops can be used as a preventive medication one to three times a week to keep ears clear of wax and debris. When you instill hydrogen peroxide into the ear, you may feel a warm tingling sensation in the ears. You may notice the solution bubbling out of the ear canal. This solution is very safe in almost all ears, even when you have grommets or an eardrum perforation. Tilt your head to the side and instill the drops into the ear as prescribed on the hydrogen peroxide medication label or instructed by your ENT surgeon or in this video or the information sheet. The first time you use hydrogen peroxide ear drops, Leave the drops in the ear for a few seconds only and then use a clean cotton ball or tissue spear to wipe the excess from around the opening of the ear canal. On subsequent occasions, when you use the hydrogen peroxide ear drops, you can leave the drops in for about a minute. If you're using custom big ear drops, you should use three to five drops per ear. If you're using a syringe, use one to two mils per ear. Do not place cotton buds or other articles into the ear canal itself. Stop using hydrogen peroxide ear drops if they are painful or uncomfortable or if any sensitivities occur. If the 3% peroxide is too irritating or stimulating for your ear, then you can dilute it in half by using equal parts hydrogen peroxide with cool, boiled or sterile water. Hydrogen peroxide can damage the ingredients in antibiotic eardrops, so there needs to be a 30 minute delay between administrating hydrogen peroxide eardrops to clean the ear and your antibiotic drops where prescribed. You will require 3% hydrogen peroxide which is available in either a pre-prepared dropper from us at MEG or as a generic bottle at most pharmacies. You will also require some 3 mil syringes if you're using a generic bottle. It is recommended where possible in the case of ear discharge that the patient should keep their ear dry. Our detailed information sheet on hydrogen peroxide on our website has a table which you can use to follow your weekly or monthly uh, hydrogen peroxide use. In general, we recommend that if you're using your hydrogen peroxide to help clean an ear infection, that you apply the drops, wait 30 minutes, and then apply your antibiotic ear drops. This you could do on a twice or three times daily basis, as many times as you've been prescribed your ear, antibiotic ear drops, and this can continue for one to two weeks or the duration that your surgeon has recommended you use the ear drops. If you're using the hydrogen peroxide merely to keep the ears clean um, of wax or debris, then a once or twice a weekly regimen uh, for as long as desired is often recommended. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact us or visit our website where you can find the downloadable instruction sheet on hydrogen peroxide use or visit our YouTube channel or reach out to us on the live chat.